What's up guys? So today we're working on a Savini mask from scratch to finish. Uh, yeah. And we got to get this button out of here. Unfortunately, I do not have a drill. So I'm having to get creative with this, which I've had to do in the past. So we've got this here and these things that have never failed me, my spade bits. Now, in no shape, way, or form, I recommend that you try it the way I'm going to try it, but I will talk to you about it if it succeeds. So, I'll be back. Alright, so we end up getting it out. See? It's no longer on the mask. What I did to do is, if you don't have a drill, just get you something with a sharp point. I used my 916 spade bit. And essentially, what I done was, when they were on top of each other, I put it underneath and just pried the thing out. Just like that. Hopefully you've seen that. If not, I don't know what to tell you. But we'll be back. Okay, being I don't have nobody to hold the camera at all. So what we got to do is we're going to have to use old Savini Jason here. You can see here, this is the mask we're doing. This is our blank. So, I'm going to have to draw the stencil out of the mask. And then when I go to cut it, that's when I will be back with this video. Unfortunately, I don't have no way to hold this camera because I'm recording on my phone. And um, I've got to actually you know, be able to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to get my other phone to come up. There we go. Um, but yeah, so we got to do this right here. we got to make the slash where the axe went, the Freddy claws, and the break in the mask around the cheek area. So when I get this stencil done, I will be back. Alright guys, so we got our stencil done, we went from here, and marked the little points here, like, right here where the break is, to the claws. This one looks a little, uh, like, crooked, but it's it'll be fixed when we start doing the actual, um, damaging. So yes, um, anything that looks off a little bit will be corrected on the actual cut, which will be next so stay tuned alright guys next up we will be highlighting our damages and cutting them out this will be using our Dremel uh, unfortunately I still have no way to hold this camera so I'm gonna have to cut it then get back to you guys um, obviously some people don't give me a downwards thumb like they usually do because I guess they're bored and have no life I'm not sure but either way, we will be back for the next step of the video, which after cutting this out, we're going to sand it down to get this shine off of it. And then we'll move on to, you know, painting and so forth and so on. So I will be with you in just a moment, guys. Okay, so now we got the rough shaping out of the mask. Now we're going to get our sandpaper out. We're going to sand it down to get rid of the shimmer as well as some of these raised edges. But so far, that's where we stand. Alright, so now we got the sanding done. Hopefully I can get it to focus. Uh, next up will be paint. You can see the claws are deepened. We might do a little bit more sanding to get the texture I want, but other than that, she is now ready for paint. So, uh, we use 60 grit sandpaper to get rid of the shine as well as all the raised edges. Next, we'll move on to black paint by uh, Kralon, I believe. It's the paint and primer, so... We're not going to be priming it, we're just going to be painting it, then adding the chevron on later and doing the eyes. So, we'll be back. Alright, so we got it painted. Next will be to let it dry and then do the eyes. I think we got most of the white covered up. We got her sanded. We're going to highlight the points here on Fred's claws and uh, this is what we use like I was telling you for, before so on to the next step alright so next step of the process is to destroy these glasses that I paid seven dollars for to make our eyes 
I apologize about the flash. I did not really realize it was on. But, yep. So you see, 697. And we're using these for the eyes on the Savini mask. So, yeah. Alright, so before I paint these, this is what was done. Masking tape was laid across them. And we drew flames out. And now we're going to paint over these um, lens or whatever the hell you want to call them that we took out of the seven dollar glasses that I showed you guys previously and we'll give you an update here in a moment all right so while we wait on the eyes to get finished we're gonna work on highlighting some of these damage points using black acrylic white acrylic we're going to mix them together, a small amount of white, just into a cup with a paintbrush, and then we're going to go over this just to bring it out just a little bit. The best thing about this is if it does mess it up and we don't like it, we always got flat black paint. We can go back over it to kill what we've done. So sorry for the blur, but we'll be back. All right, so we mixed the uh, black and white together to give us kind of a blackish gray color, dark, real dark grayish color to highlight some of the damage points, as you can see. Freddy's glove, as well as some marks here and there that we made with the Dremel. Next up, we have to do the Chevron, and we have to do the clear coat, and lastly, we will put the eyes in and look at that. So, stay tuned for the next step, guys. All right, we're back again. So I had no clue on how I was gonna do the Chevron for this mask, since I've never done one. And so I had to do a little bit of research and to get the dimensions and everything. And I actually found a YouTube video that has them on it. So, what we got here is I have this um, screenshotted. And this is the dimensions of the one we need. Um, so, I just laid masking tape on my extra phone and traced over it. Sorry about being out of focus. I'm trying to get it back. But, um... So, we're going to take this stencil and we're going to lay it on some red tape and we're going to cut out our stencil over that. But other than that, for those wondering, this is the dimensions that you would need for this particular mask. Two three-eighths, one three-eighths, and three-quarters. Alright, so here we are with the Savini update. We've lightened the claw marks, done the chevron in the process that I just showed you in the last clip. Now we're going to do the clear coat. I'm going to do about two or three rounds of clear coat because the paint keeps coming off. So we'll be back. All right. So here we have our Savini mask. Almost done. Still got to add the eyes and everything. So I'm probably going to fix that spot real quick that I'm a little, I don't like. And up there. But other than that, we're going to base it here with our clear coat. We're going to do about two or three of these. And then put our eyes in and we'll be back. Alright guys, final touches. We got the clear coat. We do got a couple little stray things in there from outside that I need to wipe off. But I will take care of that. But it's got three coats of clear coat. And it is almost done. We just got to wipe it down from being outside. I guess bugs flying into it or whatever. But anyway. And let's cut this off. See if that helps. And there she is. We're going to install this portion of it. And we'll be right back. So essentially here we are with the final touches. I have a paintbrush in my mouth. Let me cut this uh, flash off. That's where we are on the Savini mask. I think she came out pretty good for the first one I've ever done. But uh, we'll try to do some more of these. Uh, not sure if we'll be more Savinis, but uh, we will do more. Appreciate everybody viewing.